Hey everybody, today I want to talk about uh, sandalwood uh, and perfumes where it is a predominant accord uh, where the rest of the scent is basically built around the sandalwood accord. This video is not about what I think are the best sandalwood fragrances out there. I'm only going to talk about five that I think if you, if you like sandalwood you should try. And, and I'm only choosing five that I've actually tried myself. Obviously, I don't know how I could recommend anything that I haven't smelled myself, but certainly uh, these ones are worth, are worth smelling. Uh, and I'll basically list off five and I'll start from the most expensive to the cheapest. Uh, the first one I wanna talk about is from Frederick Mahl. This is Dries van Noten. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have actually uh, sampled this a couple of times when I've been in the store that stocks Frederick Mahl. And it is that, it is that, at first it's that type of scent where you kind of feel like, well, you know, what's so special about this? And, and as the day wears on, uh, you continually return to your skin or if it happens to be a blotter uh, to smell it. It is, it is, this one claims to use real Mysore sandalwood. And, and I want to make this point right now that uh, a lot of um, fragrances these days generally use Australian sandalwood, which and which smells different to Mysore sandalwood. Uh, some claim to use Mysore sandalwood, but you, you'll find generally that it's used in very small amounts due to its expense and, and rarity, and it's mixed in with other types of sandalwoods. And some sandalwood accords are purely uh, made up uh, from other, other ingredients and notes. But Dries van Noten, um, claims to use Mysore sandalwood as an ingredient. And the other main player with this particular scent is vanilla, which comes, which I find comes in um, a little bit later into the dry down, but it is, it is as you kind of would expect from Frederick Mahl, a really beautiful um, quality smelling uh, scent, which is definitely, if not worth buying, uh, certainly worth sampling. The next one on this list is from Serge Lutin, uh, Santal Majuscule, which I've just done a review of, so you can check that out on my channel. Uh, Serge um, also has Santal de Mysore, which I've never smelled, but going by what I read, um, this is also a really uh, very critically acclaimed um, sandalwood fragrance, but I have Santal Majuscule, which I love. Um, the way I would describe sandalwood in general, my, my idea of sandalwood is that if, if it, it is a very kind of languid uh, note, it's not, it's not like other woods that have hard edges. I imagine sandalwood being, if you could, if you could Reconstru deconstruct wood into a fluid form it would smell like sandalwood that's you know it's all about for me the the buttery creaminess the slightly the slight saltiness of it sometimes and also there there is sweetness it depends what it's mixed in with and sandalwood goes goes particularly well with with florals um, especially rose um, it goes well with other resins like vanilla um, and spices as well. Uh, so these five scents that I'm talking about all have, you know, different different combinations of these things, which is why I really enjoy them. The next fragrance I want to talk about is from the house of Mila et Porto. Uh, this one is called Indian Study. Again, this one also claims to have Mysore sandalwood in it. Uh, whether this is all true or not, I, I don't really care. But this one I also enjoyed. I recently got a sample of this. I've only worn it a couple of times. But what I really liked about this one is how it's blended in with spices. And there is there are what they what smells to me like chai tea spices mixed in with a nice um, 
it's not even so much a creamy sandalwood. It's like a little bit darker and warmer. Um, it, it, it's a little bit rougher than a lot of other sandalwoods, but I really like the way this is uh, intermingling with the spices, and this one is definitely worth a try. Uh, the fourth one is from Chanel. This one is kind of the the I, I would I would regard it as one of the masculine designer flat sandalwood flagships, and which is um, Egoist all the way back from 1990. I have a current bottle. I have never smelled vintage, and I'm sure um, Egoist fans and uh, and vintage owners will argue that the sandalwood smelled better or whatever from the vintage. I'm happy with the one that I have. Uh, it it comes through more in the dry down. It is blended beautifully with a rose note and another prominent note in here is cinnamon and other spices. But it just works and, and I find in Egoist the sandalwood just is a is the thing that binds everything together. My last recommendation is one that I don't own. Um, I I came across this almost by accident a few months ago when I was in Italy. I was visiting perfume shops as as you do, uh, and I I came across this particular one, and this is available here in Australia as well. But I'd never bothered to smell it. I guess a part of me dismissed it because these were cheap and. They're branded as colognes, but this one is from GOF Trumper and it's a sandalwood cologne. I sprayed this on the back of my hand uh, and a couple of things struck me. Uh, first was how good it smelled. And um, people compare this to the to a little bit too egoist from Chanel in, in that the sandalwood here is very similar to that, minus the other, the other things. So I, I liked it because it was it smelled good. I was actually most surprised by how long this lasted on my skin, even though it's supposed to be cologne. Uh, I didn't check to see if it was actually cologne concentration, but I assumed it was. And this was the cheapest one in this list, but uh, don't dismiss this one because this smells really, really good and on my skin at least, it lasted the whole day. And, and I'm talking, I'm literally talking about one spray on the back of my hand. I could smell very easily all day. So that's GOF Trumper Sandalwood Cologne. Now, please, I'm not suggesting uh, by any stretch of the imagination that this is the best sandalwood colognes, the, the definitive list of sandalwood colognes, because I know there are literally thousands of fragrances that use sandalwood or, or uh, either use sandalwood as the, the main accord in their fragrance or use it or have it in in their base. Um, it's it's a traditional base note. It's it's used, like I said, in thousands and thousands of fragrances. And I know that you guys watching this are going to comment and suggest to me what your favourite sandalwood um, scents are. And there are many many honourable mentions I could have talked about here. You know, like I've got I've got Tam Dow from Diptyque. You know, love it or hate it, Santal Thirty Three. Although this is what I mean, some sandalwoods. Um, what my my ideal characteristic for sandalwood doesn't come out as much in in these fragrances, particularly ones that have Santal in their name. Santal Thirty Three. Tamdao, um, even things like Juliet has a gun, uh, Sunny Side Up. You know, like it's used, it, it, it can smell as natural as sandalwood can smell, but it's also um, popular, a popular accord with very synthetically constructed fragrances. For instance, um, uh, eccentric molecules, uh, Jarbonol, um, which it is a, a, a molecule that um, smells like sandalwood. <clears throat> but let me know what your favourites are because I'd be interested to have some new suggestions to try out. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.